Hello, I'm Rachman Khan. I'm honored to welcome a very special guest on this episode of Good Works. I think I've broken a lot of barriers. I think of uh, the many firsts, mm -hmm. you know, in my life that says that um, I've made a difference. Mm -hmm. uh, but the greatness, I think, will come from where I am now. Mm -hmm. If I can succeed in turning our country around mm -hmm. and making it a prosperous country, making it a peaceful country, mm -hmm. if I can put the thousands and thousands mm. of Liberian children into school mm. and on the road to quality education, that will be the legacy that I will call greatness. I'm not there yet. <laughs> That's humility. That's humility. The program that I do is called Journey for Control. Okay. And what I love about the program is I've done healthy menu makeovers for people. Healthy menu makeovers? Yes. Give me an so, example of a healthy menu makeover. Okay. You can choose to use the currency or platform of celebrity to make yourself more wealthy mm -hmm. and have nothing to do with helping anybody else. Um, but at the end of the day, what I try to do is live my life in a way that I give pe other people permission to do the same. Right. If, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm calling on people to live life and be unreasonably happy, mm -hmm. live life from a place of destiny, possibility, and success, mm -hmm. then it's incumbent upon me to be happy, right. to be successful, yeah. and be highly energized. Right, there you go. And, and I'm all three of those things. I know, so you, I know you are. Well, you always hear, you know, the importance of giving back mm -hmm. and, and, and why you need to give back. But to be, you know, to be real honest, to be, you, you know, keep it, real keep, talk. Keep it 100. Yeah, yeah, keep, it, like. keep it 100. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a certain self-serving aspect to it because huh. what I find is when I do the work and I'm spreading my messages and I'm inspiring other people, I get inspired. It's, it's the Pauletta and Denzel Washington, your husband, Family Gifted Scholars Program in Neuroscience. And you know, we used to say, well, it's not brain surgery. Well, this <laughs> is, is brain, brain surgery. surgery. That's right. Dr. Cornell. It's yes. a blessing Welcome to, your work, to my brother. be in your presence, my brother. And I want to salute and pay tribute to the work that you do. What you're doing in good works is itself a good work. I, I am humbled by that. I appreciate oh, that. Oh, yes, I absolutely. That. When I go talk to kids, mm -hmm. uh, I, I look out there and I see myself. Mm -hmm. So I've been through it all. I've been through... Uh, the ups and downs, I've made some mistakes in life, I've recovered from them. Uh, so I feel like I'm in a good position to mentor young people. And it's the greatest gift you can have. Is it easy? No, it's not. <laughs> is it difficult? Yes, it is. Yeah. Is it, 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 it's called freedom, yeah. and you got to work for freedom. I always want to look in a kid's eyes and say, you can do whatever you want to do. My father told me that all the time. Mm -hmm. You can be whatever you want to be. Just do it. Mm -hmm. This will be my seventh year in the NFL, wow. and it's been a great career so far. I've been blessed to play for uh, two of the top franchises in the NFL. Yeah, yeah. So uh, just looking forward to utilizing the platform that God has given me and, and trying to be in service to those in the community wherever he plays me. Tom Joyner, welcome to Good Works. Thank you, sir. Yeah, now, you've been doing the Tom Joyner Foundation for quite a while. Tell me why you started this Tom Joyner Foundation. What's its purpose? Oh, the Tom Joyner Foundation does one thing only. We help students stay in school at historically black colleges and universities. And since our inception in 1998, we've donated more than $55 million to that effort. What are your hopes? What do you want to see that would say, I've, I've done my job, things are much better? What, what is that vision for you? Well, it, it would be uh, the type of world where um, we have overcome the question of color, racism. It would be a world where we defined democracy in the true sense of the word. What would you say to them about the power of mentoring and making a difference in the, in the life of a child? What, what one final message you would give to them? Mm, well, I would say that mentoring works miracles that an hour of your time every week for, just say a year, can really secure and save a life. Do something good. Do something today. If you know of someone out there doing good things in our communities, be sure and contact us at goodworkstv.net. Again, I'm Rachman Khan, and we'll see you next time on the program that promises to be all good all the time. Take care. We'll see you next time.